Welcome back. Uh, I figured I'd try a new audio setup, do a couple new tests, get another recording in while Justin's not here. Uh, so it looks like we got a couple options here. I need to figure out if I can find arrows and shoot the flame arrows as regular arrows, because that would be very, very helpful without the bow. But for now, let's go to Cacrico Village, because that's where everyone from this town went while we were uh, asleep, uh, in a coma, whatever you want to call it. Because I would love to go get Epona, which you can get as an adult. But I cannot do that without Epona's song, which I do not have. Because normally that's something you get as a kid, going back to the ranch. Uh, which, note to self, uh, whenever I go back to being a kid, now that I have the Fairy Ocarina, and I, I sent everyone back to the ranch, I can get a song from that. All right, so what I'm gonna go try and do is go talk to the shop owners. Because I'm not sure if the game logic considers the shops moving here to be the same shops, therefore the random items will be the same, or if it considers it new shops, therefore new random items will be there. So let's find out. Uh, can't tell. Oh. Uh, this looks like the Giant's Wallet, which will give us a 500 rupee maximum capacity, if that's what this is. That is what this is. That is dope, actually. Now, let's see if it'll let me buy arrows. I can't. Okay. So I cannot use the fire arrows until I find the bow, even though it'll let me equip it, it, I guess the game didn't account for us ever being able to do that. So what do you have, sir? Oh, buddy. That's, that's good, especially for being that cheap. So this is an adult item, and what this will let us do is any, like, wooden items, uh, shit that is, like, I don't even know the word to use, like, porous, I want to say, but that sounds wrong. Think of it like scorpions get over here attack, but in the opposite direction. So that's, that's very, very useful. Because what this now allows us to do, when we get Saria's song, wherever that may be located, is gain access to the uh, forest temple. So we got one more thing we can do as far as I know. Okay. So this is the shooting gallery game from Hyrule, or Hyrule Castle Town, whatever you want to call it. Where, when you were a kid, all the rupees came out in a specific order. This does not. It's the same patterns, but random. And that, that's that way in the regular game as well. So with the controller I'm using, this may prove a bit difficult, but we'll see. Yep, thought so. I also wasn't expecting it to come out that quickly. So I should get a free turn. Yeah. Okay, this might not be as hard as I thought it would be. So 
so far so good. That's bad. So I get a free game as long as I miss one or two. So we're still good. Okay. Shit. Let's try it again. I hate this. Part of me wants to just give up and start over, but that's a 20 rupee deficit every time. So I could just get the jumping green rupee, that would be useful. Because that's kind of a hard one to snap back into place for. Okay. Which means the jumping one. Nailed it. Alright, what do we get? I... Sure? Take these boots off. Okay, so we got very useful items out of the shop. Wait a minute. We can learn a song, I think, from the, uh, the well guy. Because this is a paradox in the original game. So basically the way you'd learn the Song of Storms is by playing an ocarina in front of the guy in the windmill. And he'd be like, here, let me teach you the song. Then as a kid, he's like, or you meet him as a kid first, and he's like, some kid played an ocarina and fucked up the well. All right, what song are you going to give me? Oh, this actually is the Song of Storms. I'm pretty sure I explained that poorly. But basically, we get a song as an adult to play as a kid. Playing it as a kid pisses him off in the future. But I have a theory. The bottom of the well should be the Great Deku Tree. So there's very few dungeons that I could get in that the game logic should consider beatable. But while we're here, let's uh, do the Dampe game. So Dampe is a graveyard gravekeeper, and he dies during the time that you're away. This becomes his gravestone. Now, what you normally do is you have to beat him in a race, and he gives you, I think, uh, he's the guy that gives you the hook shot. Then it's possible to beat him again. If you beat him under a certain time, you get a second. You motherfucker. God damn it. I forgot this is random. Shit. Well, my story stands. We just need to find it. Okay. Well, we need a Sculptula. But I think it's daytime. Yeah, fuck. Okay. So, there's also an item up here. Or, when I say up here, I mean, uh, up there. So, I have to plant a seed there as a kid, and then as an adult come back and let it 
do its whoop whoop thing. So I think, I, so I think the plan now, go back to being a kid and come see what's at the bottom of the well. Because I can't really think of much that it would be other than the Deku tree. I mean, we're making some pretty good progress having both wallet upgrades and the hook shot. Love that music. So now that we have the wallet, I'm kind of tempted to grind out the red rupees on the uh, the bridge as a kid, but I may just do that off screen another time. So I don't feel bad about grinding for money, uh, not making people watch. Well, you know, these might have different things to say as an adult. Cool. Got to go through Kukiri Forest. Oh, so another thing. Song of Storms uh, actually is possible to use to open up grottos. So maybe that's what it's talking about. Okay, these are the same. Alright, so my plan here is to go to Kakariko Village, see what's at the bottom of the well. But on the way, uh, unless I did this already and completely forgot, which is possible, uh, go to Lon Lon Ranch and see what song I can get from Malin. Or Talon. I really don't remember the, the names. Now, it is possible that this might not be the bottom of the well. Because another option we have with the randomizer is to find the warp song, because one of them is guaranteed to take us to the Shadow Temple entrance, because the only way to get there is a warp song. So, therefore, game logic, you gotta have one of them take you there, right? So, it's possible we get a song to take us there as a kid problem then becomes we need uh, Din's fire, which is like a fireball effect, to open it. Which would require us to find another item. Ah! Fuck, I don't have the sun song, do I? Or a sword. Cool. I think I'm going to use the speed up effect that everybody loves. So, uh, see y'all in a few minutes. Well, a few minutes for me. And we're back. Uh, happy for you to sit with me for the 10 seconds it took for you. So there's another option here that I didn't consider. We have the, uh, the chicken guessing game, which I've alluded to before. Uh, this is a game where we're like, hey bro, let me find some chickens. They're, they all look exactly the same. We just have to kind of guess what they are based, the, based off of their trajectory that they go off in and just pick them up in 30 seconds. Normally this would give us another bottle filled with milk. And I guess it's possible it could be, but very unlikely. Usually it's pretty easy to get one or two. The third one usually has enough time to move around to make it hard to find. 
Okay, one more. Okay, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Come on. Nailed it. Alright, let's see what inconsequential item I can get. Hell yeah! That's not Lon Lon Milk. I guess I needed those, actually. I did. Okay, so... A, a waste of time, but... Eh. Zelda's lullaby would be great, but I'm pretty sure one of the uh, other guys said that's not what we're getting. Wait. That's the Minuet of Forest? Yeah. That's a warp song. Oh, where does it take us? So, opponents following me, I always thought it was because uh, the song attracts her. And when you become an adult and play it, uh, it's what calls the horse to you when you're out in the field. I guess the song triggers her, or just whatever the song is, is what triggers her here as a kid. So, that's interesting, I guess. Death Mountain Crater. Okay. Let's see what this dungeon is. So I, I really want to find the fucking tree. Like, desperately. We found the ice cavern. This leads me to believe... Leads me to believe... Goddamn. That the Deku tree is definitely at the bottom of the well. It has to be. Oh, I'm going to die, aren't I? Yeah, this is a bad call. Yeah. Let's save. That way when I die, uh, I don't lose all this shit. I'll stand here and take it like a goddamn man. Yeah, I'm getting fucked by these warp songs. Yeah, we'll save. Oh, no. Oh. That's not good. Huh. Nah, fuck that up bad. Jesus Christ, I thought I knew these songs. Oh, I just had it backwards. Okay. So at least now we'll be in a place we can't escape. But we won't die from heat. Alright, what do we have? I forgot we had Song of Time. Makes sense, being an adult. Okay. I think I just gotta shut this motherfucker down and restart. I I really need to know it's at the bottom of the well before I end this episode, so we're gonna we're gonna take this journey together. So bear with me. One eternity later. And here we are. 
so this is the last thing we're gonna do. I need to know it's at the bottom of this fucking well. Oh, did I ever look up here to see what the item was? I think I did. Purple roofie. Alright, this is a cutscene showing the well draining. Alright, he's cranky, but we'll leave him be. This has to be the Deku Tree. Like it fucking has to. Come on. God damn it. How the fuck am I supposed to do this as a kid? Okay. So here's the problem with me getting here as a kid. This is a optional dungeon in the main game that you go through to get the ice arrows. The ice arrows are fucking useless in this game. It's just another cool thing for you to find, right? Ugh. Like, I don't even know if some of, like, can I even do this? Okay. Oh, please, oh. Please. Okay. Where's the fucking tree? That's, that's, that is my question. Okay, what can we do here? Because, like, there's so many puzzles that we are just unable to do. And, oh, I'm sorry, I was explaining why this is a pain in the ass. And probably why there's a recovery heart here, because nothing matters. We crawled in through the bottom of the well to get here, an adult dungeon. We, you can't use those crawl spaces as an adult. Because you're too big. It is entirely possible, because I, I think you can actually complete the Deku Tree as an adult as long as you have some form of uh, fire. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh, God. All right. I got two keys. There's some uh, some mini chests in here. I guess we can check out a few of them. I don't have a sword. Okay, can't do that. I think it... I don't remember what that does. I do have bombs. I think I can actually do this room.
I'm not entirely sure how much damage these do relative to uh, the Kokiri Sword. Doesn't seem like a whole lot though, does it? Okay, there's one. Oh, fuck you, sir. Oh, need those. Okay, so we gotta throw a bomb at that guy. Hopefully that should give us an item. This seems like the place. I appreciate you guys going on this journey with me for another episode. Uh, at this point, oh, we're going to finish it. Whether you like it or not. We don't make any money off this yet, so haha, <laughs> fuck you, I'll do what I want. Have a good day.